Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Dr. Bill Angel from OSU Lima in today. Welcome, Bill. You're welcome. And we are going to be talking about, well, Super Tuesday. No. It wasn't very super. It, know, was. it was very predictable. Mm -hmm. um, Trump won most of the states except for Vermont. And Nikki Haley didn't make the kind of gains she needed to get gain. And, uh, and uh, now the campaign is on. The fall campaign has started. Oh, yeah. And, of course, everyone knew that Biden was going to win on the Democratic side as well. Yeah. And that did take place. So yeah. it's uh, round two for the, yeah. for the dynamic duo, you can say. Yeah. Now, Biden did suffer a small setback in American Samoa. Yeah. I think there were 100 people in a caucus. And yeah. they cast votes for an entrepreneur who... Well, last time they had had a, a presidential caucus in American Samoa, Mike Bloomberg won. So, oh, yeah. so one entrepreneur replaces another entrepreneur. Exactly. So. Yeah. Now, I know, know many people in the many polls are saying that they're just not excited about this upcoming election between the two, Biden and Trump. So, well, it's round three. I think we've seen it before. Oh, okay. uh, and I think the excitement is basically, you know, uh, is Trump going to be able to pull, pull it out of the hat? And I, I just don't see it. Yeah. I frankly don't see it. I think, first of all, the economy is starting to get better. Inflation's coming down. Job growth is good. Employment's up. I mean, it's hard for me to see the employment being one of those fundamental factors that's going to hurt Biden. In fact, it probably will help him. Right. Uh, and I think what you got, Trump, is just being Trump. And he's, he's, he has nothing positive to say about anything. Uh, and, and talks about American carnage and all that. So, I mean... Biden's going to have the positive message. Trump's going to have the negative message, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Now let's flip over to Nikki Haley because Nikki Haley, of course, she was in it for the long run. Um, didn't happen. You know, she didn't get the votes that she was looking for. So, what do you think is going to be next on her plate? Do you think she's going to be still in the Republican Party? Do you think she's going to be do an independent thing or, or get I, out altogether? Independent candidates don't go very far in the United States. We just they just don't. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, so I can't see that. I, I can't see her having, it depends on what happens to the Republican Party after the presidential election. Yeah. I mean, it may have to regroup. I mean, if, if Trump loses, it may have to regroup and figure out where they go from here, in which case she would be like an avatar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, an avatar who, who was basically saw what was happening and, and tried to warn people and... Uh, and, and that would be her legacy. I think she's going to sit back and see what happens. Yeah, that's, I mean, I think that would be a wise choice, maybe. Um, just to look forward to, you know, the, the upcoming election, you, you know, what do you think, you know, are there going to be the pluses and minuses on both parties? Like, you know, what's, what do you think is, let's, let's say for Trump, what's going to hold him back? And as well as Biden, what's going to hold him back? Well, I think, I think the age factor for both men will be a factor. But I think mm -hmm. Biden, he may be old, but he's more knowledgeable on the issues. And, and I guess the other thing. And the mm -hmm. other thing, as I say, is the economy. The economy is going good. Yeah. It's going to be hard for Trump to make a case that it's not going good. Right. And uh, that's, that's going to be a factor, in, a plus factor in terms of Biden's side. The other thing is that Haley did get a lot of votes. She did. She got a lot of votes. She did. And you have to wonder where those votes are going, going to go. And the thing I've been reading, I know there was a poll that came out on Sunday in the New York Times that, that Trump had like a four-point lead over Biden. Neither had... had had a, a, a above majority. But uh, one of the things I've noticed about it, is he going to even expand beyond that MAGA crowd? Is he going to be able to get people who are on the fence, middle of the road, independent voters? Is he going to get those swing voters? And I, I just can't think, see a way through for him unless he somehow give, provides an, an other impression of who he really is. Right. Well, he did mention that he didn't want anybody that wasn't MAGA to vote for him when he was going against Nikki, of course. Yeah. You know, we'll see what happens to her followers to see if he, they go to his side or maybe they'll go to Biden's they side. They were a protest or... I think they were a protest vote against, against, the, yeah. against his candidacy. Yeah. And uh, they could either sit out or they could go for Biden or they could just uh, just wait and see what happens. Yeah, well, Bill, exciting times, or maybe yeah. not so much. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a great Super Tuesday. Yeah. That way. A very predictable, wasn't a very it? Very predictable. All yeah. right. Well, Bill, thank you so much for coming on today. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Well, don't go away because we have more and we return.